тырчики, блядь. Гумка. Нива, нахуй. Уазик. Хлопцы, всему пизда, ебать. Просто, нахуй. А это наш маленький рабочий блиндажик был. Ну, сейчас он не рабочий, зато большой. Я его все еб... не хочу ругать с матом. Так что промолчу. Вон Сергиз не очкует. Все. Костер плакать будет. Пизда его буханочки. Выгорело нахуй. Две машины. Вся гуманитарка. Все пошло по пизде. Документы у пацанов сгорели. Все вещи нахуй. Всему пизда. А вот здесь вот мы когда-то жили. Когда да, а когда-то это сегодня утром. Ёпс. Стрелка от меня хуящит. О, бля, баня еще топится. сними костру. Я снял. Я его маму ебал, мотал, шатал. Костер, это твоя. Все, ничего не осталось. Всем пиздец. Все. Позиции больше не существует. Вот сфотка, смотри, солнце. Ебаный апокалипсис, блядь. Зато, блядь, эта хуйня целая, ебаный в рот. Качалка, нахуй. Выгорело все, блядь, кроме качалки. Спорт это сила, бля, да. In the Kursk region, Russian commanders defended themselves with dragon's teeth because of fears of a breakthrough of the AFU on the highway. However, such offense only complicated the movement of Russians, in particular, the evacuation of the wounded and the flight from Ukrainian FPV drones. Russian Z blogger Sviatoslav Golikov wrote about this on Telegram to the philologist ambush channel, Focus reports. According to him, such barriers are installed Velikosoldatsky district in the Sudsa Kursk highway a dangerous area where enemy drones have already burned more than 50 vehicles, military and civilian. People are trying to slip through this section at high speeds. The other day, the dragon's teeth were secretly installed on the site. No alerts or warning signs. At speeds of 150 kilometers an hour, several cars flew in. There were dead and heavy casualties. Comrades working in the Sudan direction tore down these teeth to hell. But the next day, the situation repeated itself. Again, unexpected teeth, broken cars, several dead and several people in intensive care. The blogger was indignant. He said that such actions are similar not to the work of the leadership, but to Ukrainian sabotage and reconnaissance groups. You can't put a post on a site. It is stupidly smashed by drones. Alerts and warning signs could save you situationally, but now the dragon's teeth on the highway are not an option. The highway is actively working, and at the same time people are forced to fly along it. The blogger wrote, he was outraged that the losses from such barriers in this area are greater than from FPV drones. He also added that the other day a well-known volunteer crashed into the teeth there on his car. He was not injured, but he lost his car. In another Russian telegram channel, Troika, 
it was reported that 40 Russian soldiers had already died because of the dragon's teeth. At night in the Kursk region, an unknown SRG exposes the dragon's teeth in the rear on the evacuation routes along which cars rush from FPV drones at 150 kilometers an hour without any identification marks. More than 40 people died in just one day. The same number of people are injured. There are more accidents in an hour than FPV knocks out in a week.